we have made it to the last purple practice book page for the week and I want us to go over this one together if you tried it on your own first good for you let's really check for detail though and make sure that we especially on this front side know what to do with quotation marks and punctuation when we are using them so this is page 149 and we are going to see what we can do here. Of course, there was some information up here. Marcus said runners have to practice before a race just as other athletes do. Just to review, after who said it, we put that comma, then the beginning quote and the ending quote after the end mark. We can sometimes use words like explained. Um, exclaimed would be an exclamation point. And I don't see any questions up here, but if we have a question, of course, we're going to put that question mark in there. So here we go. We have to actually create some sentences and put in all of those good things. So our speaker is Derek, and he says, that was the most exciting race I have seen. Well, that sounds like that's an exclamation. So I think I'm going to write and use the word exclaimed when I do this, and I'm going to do mine in cursive today. So... Derek exclaimed, going back and dotting and crossing there, comma, quotation, then I'm going to have to capitalize the T in that, that was the most exciting race I have seen. I'm putting in an exclamation mark with the end quote there. So if you need to stop and slow down and take a look at that, that's just fine by me. Sherry's the speaker in the next one. Will you be in another race? She's asking a question. Ooh. I'm going to start it differently. I'm going to start with what she says first and show you that. Will you be in another race? And I must get the question mark in there. Will you be in another race? End quote. There was the beginning quote. And then I'll finish it with Sherry asked, not said. She's asking. Again, if you need to pause, feel free. Moving on to number three. Lewis is the speaker. He says, I will be running in a race next month. I see no reason just to say, not to say Lewis said, comma, quotation, capital I, will be running in a race next month period than my end quote. So check for all of those details. Make sure you understand all of those important parts that we need to use and do when we are writing with quotations. Backside. Um, different different idea here. We're talking about comparing and contrasting. Remember comparing, this is a review. Re comparing is when you're showing how a couple things are alike. And contrast, a contrast is showing how things are different or just recognizing that things are different. So we are supposed to tell whether the sentence compares or contrasts. Let's look at the first one. Andy Payne and Peter Cavuzzi both competed in the International Transcontinental Foot Race, excuse me. Well, they're telling you what they did that was the same. So that would be comparing both men were called bunioneers. Again, we're telling how they are the same or similar. We are comparing. Remember, bunioneers were the 
people that ran in that that race because they called it the bunion race because of all of the swollen toes from uh, those runners having to run so far. Andy was from Oklahoma while Peter was from England. Now that's showing that they are from different places. So that would be a contrast for sure. I guess I'm supposed to write contrasting, right? Andy won in 1928, but Peter won in 1929. They each won, but in different years. So this is also contrast. And if you'd only wrote compare and contrast, that's fine. I started with the ING, so I finished. Now, I went ahead and did the bottom part just to show you what I did. You were supposed to think of a topic sentence that you could use in a paragraph that compares Andy and Peter and then write a topic sentence for a paragraph that would contrast them. So I don't know. I The first one I wrote, Andy Payne and Peter Govuzzi each won the transcontinental foot race. And if I was going on to write a paragraph about that, I would explain, I suppose, how they had both been in the first race, but that he dropped out. He ended up winning, but this guy came back to win the second year. So I would explain that in details after I made that statement. The contrasting paragraph that I wrote is Andy Payne finished the first foot race across America, comma, should have made that bigger, but Peter Gavuzzi dropped out because of a toothache. Ooh, I forgot my ending mark there. All right, so I just was showing that in the first race, Andy Payne finished, but Peter Gavuzzi did not for health reasons. So... Um, again, if you need to stop this, pause it, and do whatever you need to do to kind of fill those things in, that is fine by me. Have a great afternoon, evening.